Okay, now that we've talked about what reference angles are, let's do two examples. First one is find the reference angle for 170 degrees. So here is the, uh, the shorthand version that has all those reference angle formulas in one that I gave before. We're going to use that for this. So 170, what you want to do first is see which quadrant 170 is in. 170 is between 90 and 180, which means that's going to be in the second quadrant. So because the angle is drawn there, I know that i got to use the 180 minus theta as my reference angle formula. So here's what I'll do. I'll do RA, reference angle, is going to equal, I'm going to do 180 minus the original angle that they gave us, that's minus 170. And so when you do that, your reference angle is going to equal 10 degrees. That's your reference angle. Let's take a look at a quick picture on there just so we can get a visual of what's going on there. Here was 170 degrees. That was the original drawing. If they asked to draw it in standard position, then that's what it would be. It's drawn here. It's closer to the 180. So I drew it line kind of going closer to the 180 there. That's 170 degrees. And then this right in here was our reference angle. That's 10 degrees. So what that's saying is that the 10 degrees here, we have, if we had a line drawn over here in the first quadrant with 10 degrees, that would have the same numerical values, just differing with a plus or minus sign, depending on if you're looking at the x value or the y value. So the main thing all they're asking for is the actual reference angle itself. That would be 10 degrees. Now for this one, this one's going to be in radians. And yes, you could actually convert this over into degrees and then use that same chart there in order to find the correct uh, reference angle formula. However, I'm going to keep this one in terms of uh, radians. If we think about the number, 9 fifths, 9 fifths, uh, by looking at that, that's slightly less than 2. 10 fifths would be 2, so 9 fifths is just slightly less than that. So if I look at my chart here, this is going from uh, 0, pi over 2, that's pi, 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So 3 pi over 2 would be about 1.5 and then we have 2. The fraction 9 over 5, that number, that fraction itself is between 3 halves and 2. So that would tell us that we have to use the, that's in the fourth quadrant, which means we need to use this for our reference angle formula. So I'm going to do reference angle is going to equal, I'm going to use this formula, 2 pi minus 9 pi over 5. I'm keeping all of it in terms of radians here. We need to get common denominators with this. So reference angle is going to equal, uh, if we change it, that's going to be 10 pi over 5, getting common denominators, minus 9 pi over 5, 5 is going to equal pi over 5. So pi over 5 that would be the reference angle uh, for this one. So again, you can either, if you wanted to do it alternately, I could have changed this into degrees and then done the whole problem in degrees and then probably want to change the answer back because typically if they, if they give you the original angle in radians, that means that's kind of how they want you to write your reference angle in the same degree measurement as that, so we could just change it back. Okay, here's some other problems where we're practicing finding the reference angle. First, they want you to draw the angle in standard position. Next, they want you to find the reference angle that goes with. We have one in degrees and we have one uh, in radians. First, we'll do this one. Draw 120 in standard position. Okay, so we know that 120 is between 90 and 180. 120 is closer to the 90, which means that the angle is going to be drawn something like this. So this right here is 120 degrees. It's good to actually do that first because that would tell you which quadrant you're in. And here, refer to the formula I had on the board previously that gave the reference angle formulas. You're in the second quadrant, which means that the reference angle formula you want to use is 180 minus theta. So my RA is equal to reference angle is the formula 180, 180, and that's going to be minus theta, so minus 120, which means that your reference angle is going to be equal to 60 degrees. So what is 60? That's this angle right here. So this right here is going to be the 60 degrees. That's going to be your reference angle. It's the measurement from the angle to the closest x-axis. That's going to be 60. Let's now take a look at this one. 11 pi over 6. Now, we could do this one. We In the previous uh, example, we had the 
this, these formulas written in terms of radians, and we did it all in radians. If you don't want to do that, then another method that you can do is change this over into degrees first. Once it's in degrees, then you can refer to uh, those formulas. Okay, so if we're changing it over into degrees, 11 pi over 6 times, okay, we want the pi's to cancel, so I'm going to put the pi in the bottom there. 180 is going to go on the top, uh, and when we reduce all that, that's going to give us 330 degrees as the actual angle. So, now that I have 330, I can draw this in standard position. 330 is going to have to be down here in the third quadrant, and it's going to look something like this. The angle goes around this way. This is going to be 330 degrees. It go, positive angles, remember, they always go counterclockwise. This angle right here, that's going to be our reference angle. We're going to find that by using the appropriate formula. The reference angle, it's in the fourth quadrant, so you're going to use 360 minus theta. So 360 minus your theta, that would be 330 in this case. So your reference angle is going to equal 30 degrees. Now they're going to tell you whether they want the angle, reference angle written in degrees or radians, but generally if the original angle was in radians, they want the reference angle also to be in radians. So I would change that back by multiplying by pi over 180, and if you were to do that, your reference angle is going to be equal to uh, pi over 6. So this angle right here, this would be pi over 6, that's your reference angle. Going all the way around the other way would be 330. So now that we've taken a look at this, we're going to move on to how do you, you apply a trig function. So we would have a trig function applied to uh, one of these angles.